Stress is an ever-present force in our lives, stemming from workloads, responsibilities, and commutes. But is there anything we can do to stop the cycle of stress and its effects? Let's explore. While some stress can spur positive change and adaptation, the type we're addressing here is the insidious variety that burdens both body and mind. From a physiological sense, stress is the body's reaction to demanding situations that trigger the release of stress hormones like cortisol, adrenaline, and noradrenaline. This physiological response heightens heart rate, blood pressure, and blood sugar levels while dampening other bodily functions, invoking the sympathetic nervous system's fight or flight response. Moreover, you might have heard that when there is excess cortisol in the body, weight gain can be a side effect. Other physical symptoms include exhaustion, body aches, chest pain, high blood pressure, headaches, insomnia, muscle tension, and sexual dysfunction. However, stress can be managed. Firstly, let go of stressing over stress itself. Understand it is an inevitable part of life akin to the exertion of exercise. Next, assess your boundaries. Are they robust enough to shield you from undue stress, or are they being breached by external demands? Avoid overcommitting and rushing. Prioritize self-care. Focus on meditation and deep breathing exercises to counteract shallow breathing habit. Dedicate brief periods to mindfulness, focusing on relaxation and breath control. Train your mind not to wander back to what's causing the stress during these mindful minutes. Go for a run, a walk, or hit the gym. Exercise is a potent stress buster, fostering positive physiological adaptations while mitigating negative effects. Find what works for you. Don't underestimate the power of laughter. Seek out sources of humor to release mood-boosting endorphins and improve lung function. That also means don't be addicted to watching the news. Too much in the world happens that is out of our control and can lead to more stress. Stay positive. Consider prayer as a means of centering yourself and surrendering burdens. Sometimes relinquishing control can be liberating. All too often we take on more than we should. Praying helps us offload stresses out of our control to God. All things are possible through Him. Lastly, prioritize sleep. Aim for a minimum of several hours nightly recognizing its role in recovery and stress reduction. That also means put the devices away at least 30 minutes before bed. Try reading an actual book as it could help you relax. Practice a few yoga poses to calm you before you get into bed. Remember, managing stress is a journey, not a destination. Embrace imperfection and consistent effort in your quest for a balanced life. I'm Coach Rick, and remember, don't wish for it, work for it.